Hi, I'm Vicki Clausen. I work in the Diagnostic Lab at Foundation Plant Services and I'm here to show you how to collect plant material that you're going to send to us for testing. There are really two things you want to think about when you're collecting material. The first being uneven virus distribution in the vines. So you want to make sure that you collect samples from across the vine. And the second is cross-contamination between potential positive and negative samples. So when you go out to the field, you want to take a small cooler like I have here. It's handy if it has a pocket in the front to put your sample bags in. And the other thing is an apron. We're going to be using gloves to collect the material. So if you have two pockets, it's handy. This side I have my unused gloves, and then when I'm done with them, I'm going to put them in this side. I've got my sample bags here labeled with just a sample number. So when you're uh, collecting samples, make a spreadsheet that has just sample 1 through N on it and then any location information that you want on that spreadsheet. But on the sample bag, we just want the sample number. So I'm going to put a glove on my right hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to be collecting the leaves with my right hand open the bag. It's good if you use bags that are this shape because it accommodates the longer leaf and we also like to have it be closable so be if this has a ziplock closing at the top. This is a two cordon vine so I'm going to collect two leaves from each cordon and when I collect the leaf I'm going to just go in here I'm collecting leaves that are in nice shape just about mid-height on the canes. And what I'm going to do is grab this petiole and I'm just going to pull it back until it snaps free from the cane. And this is what we want to be careful with. It's this broken end that if there are any viruses present can create cross-contamination between samples. So I'm going to, watching this end and not touching it, I'm just going to stick it down in the bag like this. The petiole down in the corner. Then I'm going to select one more leaf from this cordon. My second leaf. Again, I'm going to put the petiole just right down in the corner of the bag. Now I'm going to go to the other cordon and collect two more leaves. Let's see. If they're all about the same size, that's handy for us. Oops, that one's too big. Here's my third leaf. And one more. My fourth leaf. So here's what you want in the end. Your bag with all four petioles down in this corner together. Then I'm going to take this glove off, turning it inside out, put it in my side, other side, squish as much air as you can out of the bag, and then close it. Put it in my cooler. I have an ice pack in here. I already have some other samples. Put that in, and then get my next sample bag and do the same thing. When you're done, uh, you can fill this bag up, and then when you're done, we just put them in a bigger cooler in the car and keep going.